Hearing loss affects your personality, cognition, and more. It can cause daily frustration, irritability, and stress. And Ted Blanford from Summit Hearing Solutions is here to uh, help us uh, kind of get over those things or get our loved ones, maybe more importantly, over those things. Well, yeah, not just our loved ones, but the whole family right. suffers from someone with a hearing loss. And it's when we talk about cognition, we're talking about the actual brain function. The brain doesn't remember what it can't hear, mm -hmm. and it, the brain doesn't function if it, the information doesn't get to it. So yes, uh, depression, um, standoff, we, we call it reclusion, mm -hmm. where, uh, where some of our patients would come in and they're not the same person they were 20 years ago, and their spouse is saying, how can we have them back? It's almost like grieving, mm -hmm. um, missing somebody that was that is sitting there but not there because the communication is so uh, hampered by by poor, uncorrected hearing. You sent me an article, and I think uh, I want to make sure I get that phrase right. It said uh, that doubt leads to withdrawal, yes. where you know you think you hear something, but you're not sure, and you get tired of asking after a while, and so you just slowly withdraw. Yes, exactly. And more importantly, especially for uh, our patients that have had hearing problems for quite a long time, that it, it doesn't cause any pain, and it's something gradually over over time. So when they start asking what, or they they're not sure and they get that doubt and they get start to withdraw, they don't want to embarrass themselves. And it really becomes a social issue. Mm -hmm. um, and, w and you know, we've talked about it for, for years now about my family history of, of hearing loss and watching my, when we go to dinner, uh, watching my mom and dad have difficulty ordering and my sisters would be there to interpret. Mm -hmm. And um, it really made my father feel uh, embarrassed when he couldn't understand the waitress or the waiter or he'd go to a hardware store and couldn't pay the right amount because he didn't understand what the person across from him was saying. I know uh, there's no obviously uh, or hearing loss can happen at any age. Right. Is there a general, is it in my 50s that maybe I start to experience something that needs to be corrected? 50 is a good age to to think about. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of medical right, issues right. that you talk about when we come to get to 50, but I started wearing hearing instruments when I was 32. Mm -hmm. And I started noticing my hearing problems long before that, but also I've got a genetic propensity. If you know somebody in your family tree that has a hearing loss, come and see us at Summit Hearing Solutions. Let's get a, a baseline test. You're never too young to have a hearing exam mm -hmm. and to find out where you are because a person with perfect hearing at zero 10 years later with 20, that's a 20 decibel hearing loss. That is noticeable. And it could cause problems socially, could cause problems in your relationships, and could cause other issues in work and, and things like that. So if you know where you start, you know where you're going, and you can, be, you can be in control of the solutions for your ability to hear and understand. The, uh, the brain is amazing. Uh, it is. And uh, again, I know that you uh, often say, we don't just treat your ears, we treat your brain. Uh, you can see some of the consequences of untreated hearing loss. Absolutely. Some of the hearing solutions begins with the ears. And we work with how the, the brain and the ears connect. And we, we educate our patients, we educate our family members uh, and, and our hearing family members uh, quite extensively on what to expect with hearing loss uncorrected and how we can improve their lifestyle and how we can improve the relationships with their families and the people that they love the most through better hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so uh, if somebody wants to get started, maybe they've had that, uh, you know, that uh, they bought somewhere at a big box store that, right. and it's sitting in the drawer. We talk about that a lot. Uh, the best way to get going is what? Give us a call at Summit Hearing Solutions or jump onto our, our website at summithearingsolutions.com and give us a call and, and Talk to somebody about how we can set you up with a, a, a consultation. There's no cost for our hearing exam. Let's find out where you're at, and let's work towards the journey of better hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, again, what you uh, don't know may hurt you in this case. Depression, uh, lack of lifespan, your cognitive functions, all can be affected by hearing loss. The scary thing is... With a mild hearing loss, you're two times more likely. With a moderate, two to, uh, three times more likely. And a severe hearing loss, up to five times more likely to develop age-related dementia. Plus, you know that uh, Ted has gone through it himself. Uh, like I said, since uh, 32, yeah. there you go. You, you can't even tell uh, until he does that trick. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But again, Summit Hearing Solutions. If you'd like to find out more, summithearingsolutions.com is uh, where you need to go to get started. We will be right back here on Insight.